Yo, what is up everybody? Elysium here. And in today's video, we are going to be going over my updated prep for the brand new update. This is going to include the changes that were made to what units are staying and what units are going, or at least the confirmations, as well as pretty much everything you need to do to prepare. And it's going to be a little updated from my previous video because my previous video is a little bit older and some new information has come out. So before we get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe and join the Discord linked below. We are at 300 members now, so come hang out. It's been a lot of fun in there, so I hope to see you guys in there. But let's get straight into this. So the number one thing you want to do before this update is get docky. We have two days and six hours left, and then of course some downtime. But get docky, because she will be going away soon, and she is one of the best bleed units in the game. Stain does out DPS her, but the versatility of her bleed is a lot better than Stain's. So make sure you try and get your hands on her as fast as you can. You have a 3% chance to get her to drop from Entertainment Act 5, and a 1% chance from Act 4, which is an unlimited farm. But you only can do Act 5 three times a day. So make sure these last couple days you are doing your Entertainment Act 5s, because you need to get Docky. She will be going away. Her Evo item may stay, it may not. But in case it doesn't, make sure you also get your 400 Wisteria, so that way you can get her Evo, and you don't just get stuck with an uneVO Docky. From there, the next thing I'm going to talk over, of course, is gems. I have 17,000 gems right now. You guys saw the Pride video. I spent way too many than I should have, so I'm probably going to only end out around roughly 22, 23k before the update comes out, which is quite a shame because I wanted to have closer to 30 or 40k. However, the battle pass will get me some. So that is the number one priority after you get Docky is to farm gems. Luckily, you will be getting gems while you farm for Docky because she drops, I believe, it's anywhere between 50 to 100 for Act 4 and I think 150 for Act 3, or Act 5, sorry, which is well worth it, especially if you're just kind of mindlessly grinding. And then you guys know all the ways to get gems. You do your Infinity Castle, get as far as you can, do your dailies, do your infinites, do your events, get these done with, get these done and over with while you can. So, going from there, the next thing you want to do to prepare for the update is get star fruits. Make sure you guys have plenty of star fruits. We are getting a bunch of new units. The devs already teased us, so make sure you are doing these challenges every 30 minutes. Hop over here and get some star fruits. If it's not star fruits, skip it and come back whenever it is. But make sure you are saving up star fruits. I have a good, good chunk of star fruits on me right now. I got about 20 of each, and uh, 70 of the normal ones. So just make sure you guys are saving them up. There's not a whole lot you really need them for currently, unless you're still grinding for units. And if that's the case, then grind for that unit. But if it's not the case and you don't really need them, hold on to them and just get as many as you can. That brings me to the next point: is relics. We were talking about raids and doing all that make some relics you know it'll make the update a lot easier for you they're not going away but it is nice to just have them as a nice nice little buff especially if we get some harder content and your team's like almost on the verge of meta but you just need a little push relics are great i recommend miracle timepiece for almost any magic unit and then lost vein for almost any physical but of course you can always trade for the nail relic as well for 8 to 15 re-rolls depending on the actual roll on the nail itself the next thing I want to go over for update prep is stat cubes. Make sure you have plenty of stat cubes because we're going to be getting lots of new units to Evo. I am broke on stat cubes right now. It's uh, it's pretty bad. So I want to try and get some more. However, you know, it's, it's a grind for them. I may end up just attempting to do a bunch of pride Evos and getting all these evolved if I run out of stuff to do. But make sure you guys have plenty of stat cubes for the update. That way you are able to re-roll your new units and you don't have to sit there and wait to evo them. Or wait to do this, wait to do that. So make sure you guys go out and get your stat cubes. You can also get them from the daily challenge. Which is a little difficult, but with a team of six, it should not be too hard. So make sure you guys go ahead and do this almost every day if you can. And of course, you know, evo your units for the rest of your stat cubes. Also, for the update, make sure your story mode's done. We probably won't be getting another story mode stage. Actually, I think we will be getting another story mode stage because it looks like in the update itself, there was a new area. It could be a portal. It could be a story mode. 
But get your story mode done. Get all of these complete. They'll get you gems. They'll get you what you need. And then that way they're done and out of the way. So you don't have to worry about doing Puppet Island virtual. And then getting to play the new content. Instead you can just play it right away. So make sure you guys are doing your story mode. And getting that finished and completed. Also what you want to do. Save up your luck potions. I know some of these banners have been pretty good overall recently. But hold on to them. We're going to be getting a lot of new units, and the best way to get those new units is by using a luck potion. Because it ups your chances ever so slightly to get that unit. So make sure you guys are holding on to your luck potions, as we're getting a lot of new units. And they're going to be super, super helpful when it comes to actually getting those units. Especially if you have the Robux to come over here to summon and buy Super Lucky, buy Ultra Lucky. Because that gets you almost a 1% chance on the special banner, which is well worth it. That's how I got so, so many prides. So, continuing on, I want to go over what units are staying and what units are going. Doflamingo and Hamaru are confirmed to be staying now, as long as well as the other Madoka event units, which includes Madoko, Kyoka, and Mami. So, all of them will be staying, so you don't have to worry about getting them right now. They will still be in the game. However... Daki will be leaving. She is the only one leaving with this brand new update. So, like I said at the start of this video, go ahead, go get her while you can. She's really good. She's extremely good in this week's tournament as well. If I didn't keep messing up my 100% physical buff and my targeting, I could probably get towards 700 with Daki. But make sure you guys get them. Just get Daki. That's pretty much all you got to grind for because Dofi and Hamaru are not going anywhere. So... Sorry if I made any of you panicked before in the last video. We never had confirmation on whether Hamaru and Do Dofi were leaving yet. Now we know that they're staying. So just make sure to go out and get your hands on Daki while you still can. From there, there's just a few more things I want to talk about. One of them being your battle pass. Finish your battle pass. Max it out. Get everything you need out of it. Because you only got two days left. And by the time this video is out, it'll probably be right around... Two days, three hours, somewhere around there. So make sure you guys get your battle pass finished and maxed out. You don't want to miss out on the rewards in there as well as the unit because they will be tradable in the future. And you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of good rewards. So make sure you guys finish your battle pass before the update drops. Final thing I want to go over is... The final thing I want to go over is XP food. I would stock up on XP food if you can. I'm really low on it right now, but I'm counting on getting plenty of units with my gems to be able to fuse into the brand new units. But if you guys do not have a lot of spare units, make sure you're farming your XP food. Buy it from Escanor every day. Just do what you can to get it because nobody likes to get stuck with like a level 80, level 85 unit for, you know, a week or two. It's just a pain because you want to you wanna use them at their full potential. So make sure you guys are coming over here to Pride every day and buying your XP food as long as you got the gold and you're not draining yourself too much. Because if you're crafting relics, those are expensive. So just make sure, make sure you're getting your XP food. Overall, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware on what's coming, what's leaving, and what all you need to do before the new update drops. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the Discord. Peace.